Hello everyone. In this week's video, we're going to be looking at someone uh, who I've been thinking about a lot during lockdown, and that's a woman called Julian of Norwich. And the reason why I've been thinking so much about Julian of Norwich, or Mother Julian, as she's often known, is because she was an anchorite. And an anchorite is a person who chooses to stay in one place, usually a small cell in a church or chapel, and, and not to go to work or have a family or even go outside. They basically live their whole lives like we've been doing during lockdown. And the reason they anchor themselves to one small space like this is so that they can spend more time praying and conversing with God. Julian lived most of her life in a small cell that she shared with her cat, making clothes for the poor, offering wisdom and guidance to those in need, and writing about her faith. Julian was born in 1343 in Norwich, which is in Norfolk, right on the other side of the country. When she was about 30, she became very poorly and thought that she might die. So the curate from the local church came to see her and to say some final prayers with her, which we call the last rites. But during these prayers, Julian had an amazing vision where God spoke directly to her. These visions continued all through that night and the next, and then, in just a few days, she was completely recovered from her illness. Julian then is what is known as a mystic, someone whose faith enables them to see the world in a way which most of us aren't able to do. She went on to write down the visions that she had in her book called The Revelations of Divine Love. Now, this book is a really important part of our history because it's the first record we have of a book written in the English language by a woman. You see, during the time when Julian lived, women weren't treated fairly at all. They didn't have the same opportunities as men and were expected to do as they were told and put up with an unequal and unjust society. This meant that Julian probably wasn't educated in Latin like her male counterparts, which was the language that nearly all books were written in at the time. And so instead, she wrote in English. Her writings, however, which were largely ignored by the ignorant and intolerant society of her time, have become some of the most important works of Christian theology today. Julian writes of the love of God for each and every one of us in such a powerful and beautiful way that her work stands out from all the other theology written during the same period. In one of her visions, God shows Julian a small object like a hazelnut in the palm of her hand. And when she asks God what it is, God replies, it is all of creation. Julian is terrified because suddenly all life seems so tiny and fragile but then God helps her to understand that she need not worry because God made this little thing which represents the entire universe and God loves it and so God will keep it safe, always. So if we think about Julian and our school values, she ticks loads of boxes. She was incredibly courageous to speak up as a woman in her society and to choose the life of an anchorite. She showed great perseverance in the way she lived her life and complete trust in both God and her community to support her. If you can think of any other ways in which Mother Julian embodies our school values, then why not put them in the comments below? The most famous line of Julian's work, which inspires Christians throughout the world, is this. Jesus answered me with these words and said, It is true that sin is cause of all sorts of suffering, but all shall be well and all shall be well, and all manner of things shall be well. These words were said very tenderly, indicating no kind of blame. And so I've been thinking of Julian in her cell during this time of lockdown, and about these very special words of hers, the words which Jesus revealed to her, that we can pray ourselves whenever we feel hopeless or lost or scared. All shall be well, and all shall be well, and all manner of things shall be well. Amen. God bless.